And now, from the musical center of the universe, Katati, California, it's Zone TV. Tonight's guests, saxophonist Michael Bolivar and rock band String Cheese Incident. Now, from Zone Music in Katati, here's your host, Frank Hayhurst. Welcome to Zone TV. Hey, are you new to the North Bay area? Almost everybody is. It's a bedroom community and people move here because of how beautiful it is. Musicians checking out California fall in love with the North Bay also and they want to move here like String Cheese Incident on our show tonight. They're from Telluride, Colorado and these guys came out and did some gigs and fell in love with the North Bay. Michael Boulevard, who's on our show tonight, also fell in love with the North Bay Area. He's a very urbane, cosmopolitan jazz guy from big city kind of orientation and he just checked it out and fell more and more in love with it and had to move here. And you can hear this love for this area in the music. Let's listen to Michael Boulevard. Well, here we are at Zone Music in Katati. Look at all these guitars. Look at all these people. And look at all these chord keyboards. You gotta hear these great sounding synthesizers. And here's Tim Haggerty playing the new amazing Korg Trinity Music Workstation. Hi, Frank. We've got PAs, microphones, keyboards, computer software. But you better get down here before these people buy everything. Oh, did I mention this was all at Zone Music in Katati? Hey, we're hanging out with Michael Boulevard. Michael, when it, 
I've got questions for you. What are you doing here? How did you, what, what is this all about? You, you're bringing this music, which is sophisticated and it's like urban and it's, I don't know, it's cosmopolitan and it's, it's all these things and it's here in the North Bay area. I mean, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, to be specific, I'm here because you made me tonight. <laughs> you made me come, but uh, I used to come up here to visit some friends, and every time I came up, I was tremendously happy, so I decided, why come up to visit to be happy? Why not just move here? And yes. that's why I the best decision I've ever made. So you love living here in I the North Bay area? I absolutely love living here. Yeah. Do not intend to leave. Let's introduce your band, because this is a happening band. Great. On guitar, I know Randy Kwan. Right. Randy Kwan <laughs> is an outstanding guitarist. I met him when I first got here. Drums. I mean, this is a, a legend. Tom Hayashi Tom is a great Hayashi. teacher as well as piano player. Yeah. He's an excellent singer. Great, and then you also have a percussionist. Richard Olivo is Olivo. the newest member of the band, and his attitude and playing really stimulates everybody to where we love him. And then this is like the foundation and the m Mr. Music and the whole band, Tim Haggerty. Tim Haggerty always wants us to pay him double because he's <laughs> playing two roles. He is. He's playing bass he's playing and the guitar. bass and the chords and taking a solo, so we yeah. appreciate Tim for sure. It's about friendship, it's about community. This is the Michael Boulevard Band.
people come into Zone Music and say, Frank, what's new? So what am I going to say? What's new? I mean, Tal, when they say what's new to you, what do you say? I say, the Access 212 guitar amplifier by Line 6 and it sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great, but what's new about that, Wayne? Well, Frank, this amplifier is completely unique. Once you plug into this amplifier, software takes over, and coupled with a very powerful engine, it's able to recreate the sound of a dozen very famous and very cool sounding amps. So those amps are in there? Absolutely. Frank. Is it complicated to use? It's totally easy to use, and hey, it sounds great. Just listen. As promised, here is String Cheese Incident. These guys are from Telluride, Colorado. They live and tour in a bus 10 months out of the year, which sounds hard, but there's so much energy and passion and love in their music, it's incredible. They wanted to play Studio E. They called repeatedly. Here they are, String Cheese Incident. <laughs> I drank too much tequila and I woke up seeing red and now 
all I really want from life is to crawl back into bed on account that my brain is just a jellyfish in the ocean of my head. Well, I woke up this morning and the phone was ringing. My boss was talking, just kept on squawking like a vacuum cleaner, like a barking dog, like a headache screamer through my mental fog. Pulled out my pants, had a toss the door, but the room began to spin and I fell to the floor. Almost made it to work, but stopped along the way. Two girls said, hey, wanna come with us to Santa Fe? Said, I love it, but you see, I gotta get to my job. When they knocked me out and threw me in the back of their side. up somewhere around Bogosia Springs, both of them looking at me, giggling and whispering things. We arrived at the house, a big adobe palace. I gave a lecherous look to the girl named Alice. They both were willing, but the next thing that happened wasn't quite so thrilling. They said, first you gotta come up and meet Mary's mom. But it wasn't a mom, more like an atom bomb hit. And this came out from where the earth was split. Rolling pin in hand, Gestapo patch on arm. She was mean, and she was down to do me some harm. So I run down the steps in the front of the house. Back to the highway, I scurry like a mouse. Take off my backpack, pull out some rum. Take a big long swig and stick out my thumb. Yeah, I've been 
Hey, this is Sonoma County Independent. This is the best arts and entertainment coverage of any local paper I've ever seen. There's a lot of good papers, but this one is really, really great. It's also really well written. It comes out every Thursday. That's when you can pick up a new copy of it. You know, um, the Independent's also very responsive to the community, the mu musical community particularly. We just had an event called Zone Love 3, which was 25 bands playing at the end of the beginning and at the trade winds. We had a romping night. It was like a whole night of wild music and rock and roll. And we were generating funds for the Jim Bojo statue. It was unveiled today at the Accordion Festival. Well, it's actually not today where we are, but it was today when we did this. And the sculptor pulled this thing off and um, Blair Hardman was doing a big announcement about it. And Jill Johnson, uh, Bojo's daughter, was there. It was a very touching moment, very sweet, and the statue's kind of laughing. It really gives you a feeling for what a great guy he is. We're a little short financially, not that bad, just within a couple grand. Wherever you see Bogio tapes and CDs being sold, be sure to pick them up. As Elisus is doing a clinic with Studio E, a recording clinic with Jimmy Church. Yes, thank you, Frank, for setting that up for us. It's just marvelous. <laughs> yes, uh, you tell me about the clinic, Frank. I'm going to point cameras and, and learn something. I'm sure. Oh my God! So it's going to it's there's a limited number of spaces. So if you're interested in this clinic, you can give Zone a call if it's the first half of the month. Um, Jimmy Church is a major studio uh, producer, um, composer, arranger, and musician, and from the LA area. And he's a he's a magician. And what he's going to do is he's going to teach tricks recording tricks and how to make how to make ADATs jump through hoops, how to use compressors in neat and novel ways, how to use mic placement, a whole bunch of stuff like that. It's really cool and it's really cool that Elisa's chose Studio E to do this clinic at. This will be recorded and uh, Elisa's will be showing it to other people so they can learn the techniques and we'll show pieces of it here on Zone TV so you can learn at home as well. Yeah, you can pick up on uh, how to make your product excellent. Speaking of excellent products, we've got a new amplifier, a new, new set of amplifiers, actually the V and VS series from Crest that I want to show you guys right now. This is something really new. This is something really terrific. Okay. Wow. This is, this is a heavy. Yeah, it's got Man, some it is a heavy it, amplifier. It? Here, I'll flip this guy on. As you can see, it's uh, the reason why it's so heavy is that Crest has really built overbuilt power supplies into it, which is what the result of engineering from touring. This, they've got. Um, They've really taken care of business from an engineering point of view. It's got more, twice as many output transistors as most, most power amplifiers. It's got a wide band design, which means that frequency-wise, it covers from extremely low to extremely high frequencies, um, very, very evenly. It's got massive cooling. You can feel the wow. fan there. That's it's great. also got 500 and something inches of cooling surface on the interior of it. Um, uh, totally amazing. It's got what's called tour class protection. And let me show you something here on the front. This front circuit breaker, this is an on-off switch and a circuit breaker. When you turn the amp, if, the, if you have a voltage spike and the amp goes off, you turn it back on right from the front. You don't have to replace fuses or go digging around behind your amplifier, which is really great. This is called tour class protection that they've engineered into it. Going over to the other side here, where the meters are jumping back and forth, you get a real nice set of meters that show you what kind of protection is going on. This, this amp has instantaneous gain modulation, which means you can operate it at a 2 ohm load uh, for extended periods of time. It's fine there. Active clip limiting, which, which if you get distortion on your front end through your meters, because your mixer's too high, the speakers are protected and the amp is protected. It's got what's called auto ramp, which means when you turn the amplifier on, instead of just coming on with a big bang, it, it ramps up slowly and gently. Uh, protecting your speakers and protecting everyone's ears. It's got all kinds of protection circuits and a five-year warranty. It's got a three-year warranty that comes with it. And if you send in your warranty card, the warranty card, thanks. <laughs> the warranty card uh, gets extended for another two years by Crest. It's pretty cool. The most important thing about an amplifier like this, besides it being really heavy and being a pig, why don't you help me set this thing down, sure. is that it really sounds terrific in a, in a rig. So come on by and demo one of these amplifiers. I think you'll like it. One more thing I'd like to discuss with you guys before the night is over is the Zone Music Wellness Plan that we introduced at Zone Love 3, the concert that we had in Katati. This plan has four major guiding principles. One is to improve the quality and enjoyment of life. That's pretty obvious. That's health and that's exercise and diet. The second is to prevent future diseases by doing things in your own life to prevent disease in the future. The third is to reduce discomfort. And the fourth is to promote health. 
This plan was put together with the help of Tom Patrick from Uncle Wiggly, who you saw on our program last month. And what it is for us is it's a commitment of Musicians Helping Musicians, our organization, to not just deal with illness and crisis, which we always have to respond to, but also to deal with wellness and encouraging it in ourselves and in, in you. If you're a health industry professional, please give me a call because you're a gem. If you're a musician and a healthcare provider, man, do I want to talk to you. Um, well, so that's it for our show tonight. Thank you for being with us. Isn't, aren't these bands great? String Cheese Incident, they're really fabulous. Here's a little bit more from Michael Boulevard, the guy who loves the North Bay Area so much. Michael Boulevard. Good night. Thank mm -hmm. you.